Welcome to the True Health Talk Show with Dr. Brian Wickstrom. Dr. Wickstrom is a health and wellness professional whose mission is to help people understand and express the perfection that is within by sharing secrets on how to truly live a healthy, holistic lifestyle. Now here is Dr. Wickstrom. Well, hello and welcome everybody. You are dialed into the True Health Talk radio show with your host, Dr. Brian Wickstrom. And I'm a chiropractor here in the Spokane Valley area. And uh, this is really what the show is about. It's really uh, providing truths to the, a lot of the misinformation and things like that that are that are out there in the community, especially when it comes to areas of our health and, and well-being. And so the motto for our show is, when lies are told, truths unfold. And so that's what we're all about here. And today I'm really excited about our show. We're going to be talking all about toxicity. And so this is a, a huge uh, topic, uh, but a lot of times it's, it's things that people don't even really think about that can really be setting them up for a lot of the, the illnesses and diseases that so many people are struggling with right now. And so that's why it's so important for us to go through this. And so that way you can raise more awareness about this topic and you can start making some changes uh, and starting to eliminate a lot of these uh, these toxins from uh, your day-to-day -day life. And so uh, first off, just to talk about some of the symptoms that can be tied in or related to uh, potentially toxicity uh, related issues. And so things like uh, weight loss resistance uh, or obesity, um, a lot of these toxic chemicals are actually stored in our fat cells. And so if you're really toxic, it makes it very difficult for uh, for people to lose weight because your body's trying to protect you from those those toxins that you uh, that you have inside your body. Uh, brain damage, neurological problems, things like Alzheimer's, dementia, those have been linked with uh, uh, toxicity, headaches, uh, various different organ gland uh, issues such as your thyroid gland, um, those all can be uh, tied in with a toxicity, uh, joint pain, uh, autoimmune problems uh, such as rheumatoid arthritis, uh, um, IBS, Crohn's disease, also all can be linked with, uh, with toxicity. Uh, cancer, uh, fibromyalgia, as I mentioned, autoimmune problems. So those are all some of the common, common uh, health problems that so many people are dealing with, and they all can be tied back to these uh, these toxins. And so how big of a problem is this really? And so uh, there's over a 4 billion prescription drugs ingested every year, and every single one of these drugs that we take is, is toxic. I mean, you just look on the TV, in every two or you know second or third commercial is going to be some sort of commercial for here take this pill for for this problem, and they all have toxic side effects um, go along with them. Uh, there's over seventy thousand different chemicals used uh, commercially. We have three thousand uh, chemicals added to our food supply. Another ten thousand used in addition to that that are uh, for processing, preserving foods, and right now in the U.S., five out of six Americans are diagnosed with either heart disease or cancer. And so both of these problems have been uh, linked with accumulation of these toxic chemicals in our body. So for example, the International Agency for Research on Cancer and the World Health Organi uh, Organization concluded that 80% of cancers are attributed to environmental factors, including exposure to carcinogenic chemicals. So when we have all these, you know, raise for the cure and all these, you know, nonprofits and things like that, you know, raising all this money for research, when in all reality, we should really be looking at when 80% of cancers are attributed to uh, these toxins, like what are we actually doing to eliminate the exposure and, and raising awareness for these toxic chemicals that are causing 80% of cancers? Same thing with uh, uh, heart disease. So this is uh, from the environmental health perspective back in 2012. It says that circulating levels of PCBs, dioxins, and pesticides were associated with uh, atherosclerosis plaque. So, cause, so toxins cause plaque buildup and hardening in the arteries um, and independent of other cardiovascular risk factors. So these toxic chemicals cause inflammation and plaque buildup in the arteries, increasing your blood pressure, putting you at risk for, for heart disease, stroke, heart attack. And um, I mean, these are things that people really need to be more aware of and and it's and we're not actually doing that people don't know uh even a fraction of the the chemicals that they're exposed to in a day day to day basis and it's a huge problem and so the analogy that i like to use is kind of like a like a fish tank right so you know if you have fish at home you know you start to uh, raise the fish and you know if, if you don't clean the water then chemicals and wastes and things like that start to build up. Plus, if you add in there, start pouring uh, Coca-Cola, uh, Doritos, you know, other um, you know pesticides and things like that into the tank. What's going to happen to the fish? Well, we all know the fish are going to get sick, 
And so the problem is, is that in our healthcare model and system right now, we're just focused on the fish, okay? And, you know, finding out what symptoms they have, what can we, you know, diagnose them with and label their, their particular disease or illness, and then treat the fish with more toxic chemicals, never really addressing the root cause of why the fish got sick to begin with. You see how crazy that is. We would never do that with our animals or with 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 fish, uh, but that's you know exactly what we're doing with our bodies. Okay, we're not actually going in and figuring. Oh well, the fish are probably sick because the dirty environment and dirty water. We haven't cleaned the water. That's not what we're doing. We're just trying to treat the 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 person and their illness and their disease instead of focusing on the big picture. And so you might wonder, well, why in the world we have all you know seventy thousand different chemicals used commercially. How in the world is it allowed for them, for you know, companies to to do this and put these things in the envi environment or use them in our foods? And you know, these are questions that I get all the time. And uh, the the best answer they have is because the the government thinks that it's okay, or the reasoning is that it's okay because it's in such a small dose. And while they may be right in certain situations, they're you know, the dosage is very very small, but they're not taking into account the uh, the amount of times people are being exposed to these chemicals and the fact that they they build up in their body. So your body is kind of like a bucket. So you start taking in some of these toxins from your personal care products, from the water that you drink, from uh, you know from the clean, cleaners that you use in your house. And while they might not cause symptoms or problems right away, um, as you continue to use them more and more and more, Eventually, that that those chemicals build up in your system. If your body isn't able to eliminate them, uh, you know, as fast as they're building up, and then eventually the bucket's going to overflow, and that's when your full-blown disease symptoms problems start to show up. And then that's when you go in, and you get your diagnosis from your your doctor. And uh, the the funny thing is, uh, is that the companies that a lot of times are putting these chemicals into our environment are the same companies that are making the chemicals to treat you after you get sick. If you actually look at, like, for example, Bayer. Bayer, you know, everybody knows Bayer makes aspirin and other things like that, but it's actually a chemical company. They, they actually make a lot of the toxic chemicals that we spray onto our, our foods and our pesticides. Um, so they, they cause us to get sick, get these um, cancer or get these autoimmune problems. And then they have these medications to treat you after you get sick, and that's really where they make the most money. And if you look at, you know, the rate of increase in healthcare costs is just through the roof because they're making so much money off people that are getting sick due to the fact that they're polluting our environment and, and you know putting these toxic chemicals out there, and it's it's wrong. And so we need to really, uh, you know, make make a change and you know raise awareness about this so we can start to eliminate these things from our environment as much as possible. And the real scary thing is, is that uh, there's actually the Environmental Working Group has, has done a research study called 10 Americans. You can look this up online. And what they did is they tested umbilical cord blood for babies that haven't even been born yet. So prior to the babies being even born, they found the presence of over 200 different toxic chemicals before they even born. So where did these chemicals come from? Well, they came from the mom and the products that she's using, the foods that she's consuming. And a lot of these things um, are still in our soil and our in our water. And they're being the, it actually can cause um, mutations on our genes. It's called epigenetic. So it causes these little markers to be put on our DNA. And these mutations can then be passed down through generations, making the next generations more susceptible to uh, disease or illness. And so, so oftentimes, you know, people think that, you know, cancer or heart disease or high blood pressure or whatever the case is runs in their family or it's in their genes. Well, it may not just be because your genes are defective. It may be because of actually these toxins and other factors that can uh, affect our DNA have been passed down through generations of, you know, from years and generations prior, um, you know, making you more susceptible to these, these problems. So the cool thing is, is that is that when you start to take control and make these lifestyle changes, you can also alter your genes and turn those markers off as well. And so that's the, that's a real cool thing about how our body was designed and created. And so what I want to talk about today uh, on the show, we're going to be kicking off a, a three-part series here. And so we're going to be talking about the toxic top three. So these are the three main 
uh, areas and exposures of toxicity that we need to really uh, start making some changes with. So number one is, is you know, our food. So the foods that you're putting in your body. Uh, number two, you know, our personal care products. So this is a very unregulated area. Uh, the government is basically doing nothing. These companies can get away with almost anything and putting these different chemicals into you know many of the, the products that you're using day to day, whether it be your, your makeup, uh, deodorant, lotions. Uh, there's all these chemicals that are in there. And um, there, many of them have not been shown to be safe for uh, use with humans. Uh, medications is another big one. Right now, uh, 70% of Americans are taking at least one prescription drug. And it's just crazy. So you, you hear about the opioid epidemic and you know the, the thousands of people that are losing their life from these medications. And, and it's just crazy. And that's only what's actually reported. Only about 5 to 10% of these uh, errors or problems that occur with uh, medications or in hospitals or even reported. And so it's a huge problem. And so that's why we got to do this show. And so fortunately for us, uh, our body is uh, designed to detoxify. So that's why we have organs, whether it be the, the liver, our skin, kidneys, or colon. Um, those are all designed to help our bodies um, you know, flush out and eliminate some of these toxins that we're exposed to that we can't really do much about avoiding. If we didn't have these organs, then our bodies would, you know, we'd be dead, okay, because those toxins would build up with, with time. And so uh, what happens then if those organs that help your body detoxify aren't working as good or as efficiently as they're supposed to, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Those toxins start to build up. Um, it, it causes you to be more at risk for some of these diseases, symptoms, and problems that we mentioned at the beginning of the show. And so one of, one of the things that can really cause these organs to shut down and not work effectively is called the subluxation. And so what that is, is, is um, that's a misalignment in your spine and that affects your nervous system. And so your nervous system is the, is the first system that's formed when your body's being created from two cells because for your liver, for your colon, for your stomach, for uh, your lungs, anything to, to work and function like it's supposed to, that takes a proper... Uh, signal and communication from the brain out to the organ, organ back to the brain. And when the spine is out of alignment, even the slightest little bit, actually, it's been shown that uh, even the weight of a dime's worth of pressure on one of those nerves can actually reduce the signals by up to 60% in 30 minutes. And uh, that can shut the organs down and affect your body's ability to detoxify properly. So it's kind of like, um, you know, many of you have uh, possibly, you know, got hit in the face or bumped a tooth or something like that where you where you damage the nerve out to uh, your tooth. And so we all know that if the, if the nerve to the uh, tooth is damaged, the tooth is going to die. Okay, and that's why people get root canals or they have to get an implant for their tooth because the tooth essentially dies. But that's essentially what happens if you damage the nerves in your spine going out to these organs. These organs start to shut down and die. Uh, as time goes on and that causes you to build up these toxins and causes you to, to get sick. And so if you're out there right now suffering with some of these symptoms would be constipation, digestive problems, fatigue, headaches. Those are all signs that you could potentially be toxic or you may have damage or misalignments in your spine causing your body to build up those toxins or cause those symptoms. And so one of the most important tests that you can ever have done is really have your spine and nerve system evaluated. And that way we can find out if you do have any misalignments there, shutting those, those nerves down, affecting your organs and your body's ability to work properly. So what we do to do that is we do a um, posture analysis. We do a thermography scan on the, along your spine. And in our office, we also have digital x-rays. And that way we can see exactly how long this problem's been there, what's going on, and what we need to do as far as getting that corrected so we can reconnect your brain and body and things are going to be able to work like they're supposed to as soon as possible. So normally if you're just to call in, that's over $200 to have that uh, testing and that appointment done. Uh, but for our radio listeners out there, we've opened up three spots this week for you to come in uh, for the first three callers and take advantage of that just for 50 So the number to call uh, is 509 241 3088 again 509 241 3088 uh, pick up the phone give us a call and that's for your opportunity to come in and uh, have your spine and nerve system checked out just for fifty dollars and so if you're listening to the show a little bit late here this is the true health talk radio show with uh, dr brian wicks i'm a chiropractor here in the spokane valley area and what we're doing here today we're talking all about toxicity so we're kicking off a series 
on uh, toxicity. And this is one of the biggest problems that many people don't even uh, really think about. Over 70,000 different toxic chemicals used in our environment right now, uh, commercially, we have uh, you know over uh, 13,000 used in our food supply, whether it be from uh, directly on our foods or in processing, preserving the foods. So all these toxins start to build up in our body, in our environment, and set us up for uh, many different the health health problems that we're dealing with: I mean, Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, uh, autoimmune problems, autism have all been associated with these uh, uh, toxins from the environment. And so what we want to help you guys do is really start to be more aware of where these sources of the toxins are coming from so you can start to eliminate those, but then also enhance your body's ability to detoxify and, and get rid of the ones that you're not able to, you know, really that you don't have much control over um, ex being exposed to. So what we're talking about here today is, is about food. So we're going to focus on the foods and some of the top three um, causes of uh, exposure to these toxins from the foods. So... Number one thing I want to talk about is is our meats and especially our processed meats that we eat. That'd be your lunch meats, uh, sausages, bacon, um, fast food, obviously. So all these processed meats, they oftentimes will have um, different additives, preservatives, nitrates, nitrites. Uh, can have MSG, uh, which is an excitotoxin. Um, they can have um, a high fructose corn syrup, which oftentimes has been shown to have uh, a small amount of uh, mercury in there. Um, and so they're just really loaded up with these very diff various different toxic uh, chemicals and hormones. And so there's always one thing I really recommend people going organic with uh, if you're really on you know, a limited budget, and that's definitely your meats, okay? And so listen to this. And so they, the, the World Cancer Research Fund back in 2007 did studies on uh, processed meats, you know, the containing the nitrates and nitrites. And they found that processed meats have been shown to increase the risk of colon cancer by 50%, bladder cancer by 59%, pancreatic cancer by 67%, and diabetes by 50%. And it also reduces your lung function and can increase your risk for COPD. So just from consuming processed meats. And so a lot of other countries like over in Europe and, and uh, uh, places like that, a lot of these processed meats they're banned over there. Like you're not going to find them because they actually look at the research and, and they actually, uh, you know, really care about their, their, their health over there. Uh, and so they're not consuming this stuff because they know that it's not good. It contains all these toxic chemicals and they're avoiding it. And that's, that's a big reason why when you compare the U S to other countries, like over, you know, Germany and Norway and places like that, their health is so much better than it is here in the U S because, uh, because we're we're eating these foods that are that are known to be toxic, and we're just eating them anyway. And so uh, the second thing here is sweetened beverages. Um, and so there's a study that uh, from uh, 2010 cancer epidemiology, uh, and they found that just two or more servings per day of these sweetened beverages. And so what I'm talking about here is like a lot of the sports drinks, you know, Gatorade, Powerade, all sports. Um, you have you know obviously you know sodas. Um, just having two or more servings per day increases the risk of uh, pancreatic cancer by 87%. And so that's, you know, the sad thing is, is that's where a lot of Americans are getting majority of their care, uh, calories on a day-to-day -day basis is from a lot of these sweetened beverages. Some people drink, you know, two, three, four, five different sodas a day. Um, and, you know, you go into a coffee shop, you get your, your coffee loaded up with, um, you know, whipped cream and things like that. And so these are not good, and, you know, having these sweetened beverages and, you know, sugar essentially fuels uh, cancer. So if you do have cancer cells in your body, consuming these sweetened beverages is basically just adding gas on the fire and uh, allowing them to thrive and flourish uh, more than if you had, you know, you were you're just drinking water or tea or something like that. Another thing that they'll find a lot in some of these sweetened beverages is a lot of the f different uh, food dyes. So you have your red four and blue six and, you know, all these different dyes. And uh, the amount of dyes put in the uh, foods and especially the beverages has increased five times since 1955. So over 15 million pounds per year uh, of food dyes are put just in, our, in the, the drinks and the foods that we uh, consume on a day-to-day -day basis. And so many of these dyes have been linked with behavioral problems, allergies, cancer, 
And so these, you know, if there's one thing that you can really control, it's not consuming these these sweetened beverages, the the sports drinks and the sodas. Um, you have direct control over that. In fact, um, I th- believe in California, a lot of the the soda manufacturers they have to put a warning label on their soda, or uh, because it contains a dye, a caramel coloring that actually has been shown to to increase their risk for cancer, and that's what they have to label on some of the um, the the drinks down there. So the third thing here is GMOs I want to talk about. Um, and so many of the food items that we're consuming um, on a week-to-week basis um, contains GMOs in the U.S. A lot of other countries have, have banned them, but 90% of corn, soy, wheat, and alfalfa is, has been genetically modified. So basically, if you're not familiar, so what they do is they go and alter the DNA of these various different uh, food items, uh, produce, now they're actually unfortunately getting into animals as well, um, but they go in and alter the, the DNA. And most of the time it's it's so that they can use more chemicals on the foods. So for example, uh, one of the things that they have done is they have created a, a Roundup resistant product so they can go around and spray more Roundup on some of the produce and it doesn't kill the plants, but it kills the weeds and the fields. And so the problem is with that is that the one of the main ingredients in Roundup is glyphosate and that's been shown to be a known carcinogen. It's actually linked, it's in the same category as cigarettes, but yet this is what they're spraying all over our foods. It, it uh, uh, increases our risk of getting, uh, getting sick. It uh, depletes the uh, nutrients in the soil. And that's exactly why other countries are banning these things because, uh, because it's, it, they're very unsafe there's no long-term studies. Uh, unfortunately, you, you'd think that if they were safe, then why is it that the companies are so concerned about people having them labeled so you can at least make an informed decision on if you're going to buy genetically engineered uh, produce or not? Um, it's because they don't want you to know. They don't, they don't want you guys to know that, um, that you're eating these products, and that's why they're fighting you know, hand, tooth, and nail to make sure that the, there's no labels on them. Um, but in animal, various different animal trials, uh, genetically engineered crops have been shown to cause allergies, cancer, uh, sterility, birth defects, reproductive problems, uh, other super diseases, uh, digestive problems, and also the International Journal of Biological Sciences has concluded that it, they're toxic to the liver and the kidneys. Well, those are the main organs that help your body detoxify. And if, if by consuming these, you're damaging those organs even more, then you're just allowing more and more toxic chemicals to build up in your body, making you more at risk for various different health problems. And so, as you can see, there's, if you just eliminate these three areas here, the processed meats, sweetened beverages, the gen- genetically modified foods, just by doing that, that's going to dramatically help you lower your uh, exposure to many of these different toxic chemicals and really help you live a, lo- a much more healthier lifestyle. So, you know, as I mentioned before, you know, a lot of these problems that many of you out there right now are probably dealing with would be digestive problems, it could be autoimmune issues like IBS, Crohn's disease, thyroid conditions, headaches, um, and constipation. All those problems can really be linked with uh, not only toxicity, but one of the things that can be causing that toxicity is if you have damage to your spine and nerve system and that can come from a misalignment actually in the spine that that happens from you know sitting at a desk car accidents sports injuries uh how you sleep at night lifting things wrong so many different things can actually cause uh, your spine to shift out of that proper position and if that happens that irritates or puts damage on the nerves there and that can really shut down the function and the messages from the brain out to that specific organ and so the Example that I like to talk about all the time because everybody understands this is that if you damage the nerve going out to your tooth, we all know that your tooth is going to shut down, it's going to turn black, and it's going to die. That actually happened to me when I was when I was younger. I went down a slide head first, ended up hitting my tooth into the slide, and uh, damaged the nerve going out to my tooth. Fortunately, it was a baby tooth, ended up falling out, but my tooth ended up dying. And so the same exact concept and principle applies to our organs. How we don't see our organs, we don't usually feel. Uh, pain or problems in our organs 
until the the damage has really been there for for quite a while. In fact, you know, just looking at Steve Jobs, you know, he had a pancreatic cancer, uh, which is some of these things I was talking about here with the processed meats and sweetened beverages, uh, which actually he consumed a high amount of fruit juice, uh, which is, you know, that's the type of cancer he got was pancreatic cancer. And consuming sweetened beverages increases the risk of pancreatic cancer, 87%. Uh, but anyway, so they as associated that his cancer started when he it was in his 20s. He died, I think, when he was in his uh, 50s, uh, mid-50s. Uh, but anyway, it was over 30 years that he had no idea that the cancer was even there because he didn't feel the problem. You know, a lot of these issues that we're struggling with, uh, as far as the top disease killers, we don't feel until it's too late. And so that's why it's so important to have your spine and nerve system checked because uh, that way we can find out if there is problems, organs are malfunctioning uh, before you have symptoms, before problems are, are, are start to show up. And uh, what we do in our office to evaluate your spine and nerve system is we do a, a posture analysis, we do a thermography scan along your spine to detect irritation damage on your nerve system. And then we also do digital x-rays and that way we can see what's going on, which areas of your spine are moving, which ones are not, where the problems are that we need to get fixed. And then we'll sit down and dis discuss that with you and uh, come up with a plan to you know best approach that so you can be able to get well and stay that way. So again, we've opened up three spots this week um, for the top three callers from the radio show. Usually to come in and have all that testing done, it's over $200 to do that. But um, this is part of what we do to reach our community, help people live a healthier life. And so we've opened up three spots for people to call in and uh, uh, come in and take advantage of that just for 50. So the number to call is 509-241-3088. Again, 509-241-3088. Go ahead and pick up the phone, give us a call, and that's for your opportunity to come in and have a full spine and nerve system assessment just for $50. And um, you're definitely going to be happy that you did that because that way we can find out if there is problems there and you can really make an informed decision regarding your health and uh, get get some answers for why you may be suffering with some of these problems. So that's all the time that we have today, guys. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll talk to you soon. You have been listening to the True Health Talk program with Dr. Brian Wickstrom, heard every Monday and Thursday at 1230 and Saturday at 10 on KTW 630 AM and KTW 96.5 FM. For more information on how to improve your health or to request a consultation with Dr. Brian Wickstrom, you may visit www.rccspokanevalley.com or call 509-241-3088. This program is sponsored and made possible by River City Chiropractic as a community and educational service.